as I said, has been operating for our 47 years, longer than Grenada has been a nation. And um, we stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. Most importantly, uh, this evening are the 56 artists who are participating. Uh, Frances Marie Fletcher. I, don't, I just wanted, I, I was thinking about having two top pieces. Wow. It, it, this is an untitled piece, but this comes from a series called Image Projection projection. A lot of my art is uh, related to social and uh, social issues. Also allowing the, the viewer to, to get perspective that he himself can see, see, see himself in different, from different perspectives. The inspiration come from a way of experiencing the way people are affected by so many things in society and that's the way I'm trying to look at those issues in general. Come with your ideas, artists. Come with your shows. My name is Justin. I've been doing ceramics for about ten years or so. These pieces are done in clay, pit-fired clay. This is my third exhibition. <laughs> and asked for a revolution in art in Grenada. First of all, as you know, my name is Gilbert Nero, and I paint with acrylic. Um, my pieces is the name of my piece is the Shatter series, which is glass. Um, it's like having a mirror, and it cracks so you have to mend it and one of the reasons that I have done this piece is more on youth entertainment and culture so it's basically you know you have the Ministry of Youth and Affairs and it's like there's a lot of pieces to do to put together so to make culture grow you have to mend it to make sports grow you have to mend it to, for mass and the culture with food and people that's to what, what I'm asking people is to mend it back so it'll be great. So Grenada will be what it is. So, so we'll have a perfect glass and a perfect. The art you see reflected here says very, very strongly Grenada. My name is Belton, and I was born and raised in Grenada. This piece here is a woman playing guitar, right? A woman by the river, getting her inspiration mainly from the river, listening the the song of the water, and bringing out and I brought this piece to life that way. This is charcoals and pencil. Charcoals is it, it's kind of hard to work with to a sense because, on, especially on canvas, because when you make mistakes on canvas, it, it can be erased. So you have to be precise on what you do, right? So, but it's fun to work with because it's like you you could bring out colors from just a dark piece of charcoals, right? You could make out differences because somebody would paint a piece and then you make out the differences that way, right? But here you're bringing out the differences by just one color. The reason why I started painting, I, talk, I think of what took place October 1983 with Maurice Bishop in this country. I am a fisherman, just the same, it's almost about 10 years now. I'm doing fishing and I like, uh, uh, you know, before I do the artist, I was a fisherman. I would like to see art in our homes. I work in, I you know, I mix media a lot um, with textile processes or textile media as my fundamental. Um, and I particularly love doing making handmade books. I suppose you could call it a book sculpture. It's part of a series that I've done called a diary series. Um, this particular piece is a play on some book form structures. In other words, it's called fully clothed, but I like to think of it as fully clothed. 
books I make are generally very dysfunctional and, uh, or hard to handle books. This would be technically the original spine and I've made two other spines. I certainly wish that there was more of an appreciation in, I suppose, the popular imagination for, for, for things, for, for forms like the book, but um, that's, that's just a wish. And art in the schools. Yeah. The reason I started drawing because I was sick for six months. I could not speak. I was couldn't speak until I was nine years of age. And the time I was two years old, that, that caused me to develop an art. And I was doing because scared, chance for food. And since in school, I could keep on drawing until I able to develop myself. I don't know if I have to call. We talked about it, but we decided we want to leave that one for people to see. Maybe put up the other one. My name's Amanda Haig. These are buses in Grenada, but they're old time buses. So you mainly see them being used for tourists. And I did this mainly because I love the use of the colors and also because Independence Day is coming up on Monday. I stuck it onto this hardboard which was actually reused from an old dollhouse. Ever since I've known myself I've always loved art and I just decided that I liked it and I wanted to keep pursuing it. So I take part every year. Yeah. Spreading some art in this country because if it's not now, it's never. Yes. Yeah.